intersection of line with a plane. For what value of k will the given line and plane intersect? Find all different possibilities. So we are given a line which is x minus k over 3 equals to y plus 4 over 2 equals to z plus 6. And the equation of plane here, this is the equation of plane, x minus 4y plus 5z plus 5 equals to 0. Now, let's first try to analyze the line and the plane. Well, if the line is parallel to the plane, kind of, then it may not intersect. If line is on the plane, it will be intersecting all the points, correct? So there are different uh, scenarios and if line is not parallel to the plane, then it will go through it and there will be a point of intersection. So these are all different possibilities, correct? If line is in a parallel plane, right, then they will never intersect, correct? Now, <clears throat> for that what we can do is, first we can test the normal of the plane is here, uh, which says 1 minus 4, 5, right? And the direction vector is 3, 2, and 1 for us. So we can check m dot n. m dot n will give us an idea whether the line is on the plane or not, correct? So, so the m is, let's check m dot n. m is the direction vector of the line and n is the normal to the plane. So the direction vector of the line is 3, 2, and 1. And dot product of the normal is 1 minus 4 plus 5, correct? So that is m dot n. And when we do it, we get 3. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. And 1 times 5 is plus 5. So we get this as equal to 0. The dot product is 0. That means the line is either parallel to the plane or it lies in the plane, correct? That's how it is. So... So a dot product is zero. That means imagine line is there on this paper and the normal to the paper is like this, right? So then the dot product is zero. That means either line is on the plane. Let's say this is the plane, right? If this paper, the sheet on which I'm writing is my plane, then normal will be kind of coming out or going in from here, right? And if the line is also on this plane, then the line is perpendicular to the plane, right? Or the second scenario is line is like parallel on a plane parallel to this plane, right? So those are the two conditions. Now, how can we work out whether the line is on the plane or not? So what there is a point on the line which we can put here in the plane and then check it out. So the point on the line here is this value k minus 4 and minus 6. So this point lies on the line. So what we can do is we can plug this value here in the plane and find the value of k which can make the line on the plane, right? In that case, we will get a solution of intersection of line on the plane which will be the whole set of line, right? So let's plug, substitute these values into our equation and then solve for, uh, for the value k, right? So x is k for us. We'll say k minus 4 times y is minus 4 and uh, plus 5z is minus 6 plus 5 equals to 0 right so we substituted this value of the point on this line on this plane so let's call this plane as pi okay let me say pi 1 how does it matter okay now let's solve for it so it's a k minus 4 minus 4 plus 16 and this becomes minus 30 plus 5 equals to 0 right and so k is equal to so <clears throat> k is equal to 30 minus 16 plus 5 is 21 and we take away 21 from 30 so we get 9 here so k is equals to 9 so this gives us a value of k as 9 so now what is the scenario if k is 9 then the point lies in the plane right the point is already on the line so we know one thing, that this line will <coughs> not intersect at a single point, right? So since we know that line could either lie on the plane or it is on a plane parallel to it, right? So what we conclude here is, from m dot n equals to 0, we conclude that there are two conditions, right? 
one is line lies on the plane or it is in a plane parallel to it or it is or it is in a plane parallel to pi 1 is it okay so so then in that case there is no intersection right so for k equals 9 it is on the plane so if so we can write here I'll use different ink so what we can do is that so we know if k equals to 9 then the lies so if k equals to 9 in that case the line intersects the plane infinitely right in that case the solution is infinite solution since the line is contained in the plane is that okay but if k is not equal to 9 then in that case it does not intersect the plane right so there is no intersection right correct and <clears throat> so these are the two possibilities right line cannot intersect this plane at a point since it is either because since it is either on a parallel plane or it is in this plane right since the dot product is zero so that's what we conclude from the given condition right okay thank you